What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the south of England and I'm here to check out this amazing abandoned house that has apparently been left completely frozen in time. Everything's left inside, inside the house and it is completely hidden away in these trees. Massive long driveway behind me. I've just walked about 10 minutes to get here and I'm finally here to check out this little two bedroom cottage. So before we get inside, we're gonna have a little look around, check the garages, check these caravans, and then we'll get inside and check out the house. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. And with that said, guys, let's get it. In today's episode, I head to this two bedroom abandoned house hidden deep in the English countryside. When exploring the property, I had no idea of the history of the building or of its former owners. But whilst looking around, I found the names of the last occupants, which I was then able to research. The last owner was an elderly man named Gerald. He lived here alone for some time after his wife passed away. The couple lived here for several decades, raising their child and creating memories on this wonderful piece of land. As the years passed, their son grew up and moved away. The couple remained here until Anne got sick and passed away, leaving Gerald to remain in the old home alone. Sometime in the early 2000s, Gerald became ill over the winter. As he was alone, he became too sick to care for himself and was moved into care, where he passed away later that year. The house has sat abandoned ever since, and it's unknown the whereabouts of their son and why he hasn't come back to claim the property. So join me as I take a look inside this unloved abandoned house that has been hidden away for over a decade. So as I was saying, there is a lot of caravans and outbuildings that we're just gonna have a quick look in before we head in the house. But look at this. This has been left here for some time, so you can get an idea of what age the house is. That's locked there, but we've got this caravan. Check out, it's got its own little pond down the bottom there. Imagine this was your land, guys. Be absolutely amazing. Looks like someone's had a go at this garage. Probably trying to see if there was any cars or anything like that in there. So we'll just have a little peek under, because it's definitely locked, isn't it? But look at this. Everything's just been thrown everywhere, so someone's been in. Got the old jars there, old bottles, lawn mowers, bits and bobs like that. Apparently this has had some vandalism, I'm not gonna lie. People have been in. Not the first year, obviously, you can't always be the first. But we're gonna have a little look around now, head inside the house, and hopefully, it should be a good one. Proper amazing little time capsule, though. I have seen pictures of it. But it's nice to have a little adventure, isn't it? It is such a cute little house though. Check this out. All hidden away here. In the middle of nowhere. Proper isolated. My head around the back here. It's got a conservatory. You can see the windows have been smashed. So we're gonna head inside now guys. Check this out. This little conservatory here. As you can see people have been in. Windows open. Spray paint all over the place. But I'm not gonna lie, it does look like a nice little house. So let's go, let's head in. So guys, we are inside the house now, just in the front porchway. You see graffiti on the walls. As that vandals in. They have been having a route around. But you can see there's paintings, everything's left behind in here. Out into the conservatory there. You can see how it was a proper nice house at one point. Little tables there. You can see the uh, wallpaper coming off through the damp. It's only a small little house hidden away in the country. But we'll start in this room here, in the living room it looks like. Check this out guys. How nice is this little living room here? Sofas, all the desks, writing desks, you've got sewing over there, dining room table. Look at this paint peel on the roof. So nice. But we'll have a little look, see what the family were like that lived here. 
60s, 67. It's obviously older. Enjoyed the old hits. Who's that? James Last. Never heard of him. All classical music there as well. Cactus and other. So they're into planting stuff. People have definitely been in here. Looks like a few bits are set up for photos. And then you've got a bit of vandalism. Is that the old owner, do you reckon? Try and find a name as we're looking round. Wonder if there's one on here. Jerry. Gary. I think. Is that Gary? Sorry to hear you are unwell. Don't expect to get any increase in your holidays. <laughs> Just trying to find a name here, guys. <sighs> so he was unwell. Yeah, it's Jerry. Maybe that's why the house is abandoned. Maybe he didn't recover. 2000 on the newspaper here. September 2000. Hmm. So we've got some insight that he was unwell. Artwork up on the walls. Check these old radio and what's this here? Oh, check that, guys. Holding all his cassettes, rock and roll greats, number ones. James Last again. He's a big fan. The best of. The old Bush stereos. Yeah, it's definitely been set up, but how cool is this place? With his specs there as well. Nice. They're jammed, but they do look quite empty. You can see all the rubbish chucked under there. Nice little spot though. Check this. But we'll move around and have a look. Ye old vacuum cleaner there. Look at that. I'd say that was 60s or 70s too. And obviously a singer. Abandoned without a sewing machine, guys. Still got all the threads and cottons. Look at that, all of it's left. Sewing instructions. Wonder if this was his or his wife's or maybe I think it was his wife's ashtray in there. But how cool is that? Probably just sat back here, chilled out, doing a bit of sewing. I've noticed there's no TV in here. So they probably didn't have TV. But this is proper like your nan's sofa, isn't it? Little two-seater there. And check that, guys. The old dining room table in the corner there with a big lamp. The colour's not really something I'd go for, but green. Check this. The bookshelves here, absolutely filled to the brim. Road atlases, readers' digests. Wilbur A. Smith, When the Lion Feeds. Just checking out what he was reading, or she. There's so much here though, isn't there? Eric Ambler. Mm. That's pretty cool. Check this old fireplace. Is that like a wood burning one? Or is it an electric one? Can't tell. I think it's a wood burning one. Got old books down the side here, so he probably kicked back in this chair and read his books. Chilled out. You can see out the windows here, it's nice views. So it'd be a nice chilled vibe in this house. Here we go, some old flat black and white photos. Some little kiddie there in cowboy hat. Is this Jerry? Back in the army days? Golfers at war there. <laughs> Here's the family again. On their holidays. Must have had a poodle. Little game set here. That's pretty cool. 
But what a nice little place this is. You can see the details in these dressers, the brass handles. Oh, it's full to the brim. What's that little game or something? I'm not sure what that is. Let me know in the comments, guys. But I'm just going to stand back and check this room. Look at this. Nice. It's proper hidden away in the countryside here. It's proper little isolated cottage. I'm absolutely loving it. Shame about the vandals that have been in and graffitied everywhere. But at least you can say with her back, at least people have come in and tidied it up and done it a little bit of a favour. Better than the idiots that trashed it. But we're in the kitchen now, guys. You can see all the uh, cooking equipment. A few bits here, dab it off. Is that all cleaning stuff? Yeah, silver polish. DIC, yeah, all the little bits and bobs, isn't it? In the cupboards. How'd you get in this, buddy? Yeah. All wine racks. Medicine cupboard here. Oh, yeast infection. Oh, God. I'm not going to give any names out then. Check this. Nice cookers. Oh, the bellin. A more modern bellin to what we usually see. But you can see the flower pots, old kettles, bread bins. It's a pretty cool little place. It's got nice vibes in here as well. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to open. This one? No, it's just like... None of these are opening. What's going on here? Ah, oh, there you go. Is that cognac glasses? You might have enjoyed a little dabble. Yeah, more cooking equipment, gravy boats. Oh! The cobwebs there. Oh! But it is quite a good condition house. If you ignore the, sh the spray paint. We've utensils, flowers, sugars. It's quite nice, it's like quite modern, more modern than what I'm used to seeing. But we're having a good look around, aren't we? We're not going to miss anything. There's your brew stuff. We love a brew here in the UK. Look at these old toasters, look how rusty that is. And the kettle. Hmm. Probably the bin's still here, like. But here's all your cutlery. We're having a right good nose today, aren't we, guys? Check this shell. Nice. Probably collected that from holidays at the beaches. Little souvenirs, really. Scales, vacuum. Just your normal bits and bobs for a kitchen, really. If you look out here, past those trees there, that's the drive, and it's a good 10 minute walk just up the driveway. So it's really isolated here, it's nice. It's somewhere I wanna live, away from society. Look at all the cobwebs in the windows, and spider skins, ooh. Shame just people have come in and done stuff like that. Oh, it's quite clean in there as well. It's got no bits in here. Doesn't even smell. That's weird. It's quite modern. So before we head up the stairs, guys, just let me know what you think in the comments. Nice little isolated cottage in the middle of nowhere. Nice vibes in here, telling you. Nothing creepy or anything at all. No electric in this part. Is there electric in these bits? Where are we? Can we find the light switch? No, nothing here. But yeah. Little look. I'm gonna head upstairs. Guys, heading upstairs. See all the wallpaper peeling off, all the decay. 
proper old manor and granddad carpets. They say it's only a small place. You can see the graffiti again. Absolute dickheads have done that. Smash these wall art as well. There's a few smashed windows too. But it is still cool. It's well worth a look around. Alright, let's check this bedroom first. Nice little bedroom, sad face. Ah, oh, check that straight away. How old this wardrobe is. Wardrobe? Suitcases. This is the wardrobe, and that is nice. Look at the details in that. Little handles. Very nice. Anything inside? A stick. We have a stick inside, guys. And um, just some plugs, no clothes. No clothes today. The old lamp here, it's been knocked off. I don't think it actually lives there because it's hanging off. More modern hoover. Little single bed maybe for grandkids. Staying over at Nana and Grandad's. All the books on this bookshelf. Again, no TVs. That alarm clock. Christmas decks. Look at these books. What do we have? Catch 22, Joseph Heller. All got white mould over them. The Bull from the Sea. Never heard of these books, to be honest, guys. But it's nice to see that they've... I think they've obviously been set up, because you've got this behind here. These would have been knocked off. But it's nice that somebody's come back and put them all back on. Fair play. And we have some music sheets, is this? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice to see. And so that golf, because we've seen the golfing stuff downstairs, and we've got the golfing bag here. Oh, check this. Got an old brownie camera as well. Looks like it. But it's rusted into the thing here. So I can't really get it out. No, it's stuck. But no, this is a nice place. I'll show you out the window here. All overgrown, all the trees and that nice. Nice lighting in it as well. Head across. Oh, into the bathroom, it's pretty grimy. Boiler's still here, so. Well, obviously was just vandals and not thieves. Smash the sink. All grimy, rat poo everywhere. All my days. I'm not going to show in that toilet because there's a big log in there. But they've smashed the shower screen. Which is a shame because this would have been so nice. There you go, you probably see it better now. Along there's all the driveway. Heads right down there. But all this little woodland belongs to their property. It's nice. That's quite old though. Shower pump. Triton. Hmm. The heater's there, that's quite a modern socket as well. Crew XX. Yeah, whatever. Right. I think this is the last room we have here now. But there is quite a lot in here. Check this bedroom. Obviously the master bedroom's quite small still. Like I was saying, it is a really small property. But we'll have a look, see what we can find. Look at these old photos. Looks like a colt. All in white. Mm, Midsummer, the Midsummer House. There you go. There's a name for you guys. This guy here building sandcastles. More from Midsummer. Oh, check that with the old cars there. From like proper family holidays. Near he is looking dapper. Is that Jerry? Trying to figure out a date there. Nineteen. In his suit. Can we see what's on these? 
Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, it's uh, someone in a nappy. So I'm not going to spend too much time looking at that. But they're pretty cool, aren't they? The old slides. I can't really work out what that is either. Kodak. Probably taken with the old camera there. Proper old school night like lampshade. Oh, it's a pretty nice house though, to be fair. Some more photos here, little babby. I think that's our Jerry sticking into a buffet there. Looking uh, a bit cheeky. Yeah, 1957 Midhurst. Oh, that's close. Midsummer. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Oh, there you go, there's the poodle. Called it. That looks old though. How's that dog? How old is that dog like? Wow. There's some age to some of the stuff in here. The old writing desk and... What's this? The Institute of Electrical Engineers. Chartered Electrical Engineer. 1959. Gerald. Jerry. There you go. Jerry's house. There's mainly photos up here, but it's still pretty cool. What else can we find? It's hard to see. Have I doubled up there? Is that why? Yeah. There's someone with a little baby. We can just make that out. But no, pretty cool. These drawers are all pretty stiff. We walk to the shops. Oh, a postcard. I don't think that was his address, so we're alright. An overall suitcase here. There's a sticker on this one. Hotel Interlaken. Interlaken. Don't know where that is, guys. Someone let me know where Interlaken is. Check these wardrobes. Look at the details. Hand-carved wardrobes. The brass handles. Just got bedding and stuff like that in here. Oh, check the old uh, electric Philips heater there. That'll kick off some energy. Cost a fortune to run these days. Absolute jokes. What do we have in here? Oh, just a bit of rubbish, really. A bit of storage. How cool is this, though? It does feel weird because it's quite modern. It's a bit newer than what we're used to. Oh, look at the old projector. So I'm guessing you'd put these slides in somewhere. I'm not sure how that would work, but... A Hanamat Auto 500. That's pretty cool though. It's just all bits and bobs thrown in there, out the way. Bed sheets. Yeah, it's just all full of... Weird to have a filing cabinet, though. What do we have here? That's got some age to it. I'd say 60s or 70s as well. Lloydtron. Lloydtron. Electrical clock. Jerry. Maybe I've not seen anything to... Uh, say anything about women here which is strange all just seems to be about the fella what do you reckon guys I've not seen anything really feminine the sewing kits and that but that could be either couldn't it really and there is just the one bed like there's not much to say about women so it looks like Jerry might have lived here alone to be fair and it looks like he was ill towards the end with the get well soon cards at the downstairs so it's a bit of a mad one really it's only a tiny little house but it's nice to have a look round I've really enjoyed it I think we're gonna have a little walk around the land outside for it before we go and just check that out but what a place
So there you have it guys, nice little time capsule, house completely frozen in time, we learnt the owner's name is Jerry, he was unwell towards the end, that may be why he's passed away and that's why the house is abandoned. It's such a shame to see um, vandalism in there, broken windows and spray paint. I don't see the need for it to be honest, because it doesn't look like anyone's been in stealing, so it's just mindless vandalism to be honest. But yeah, nice little time capsule hidden away in the English countryside in these woods. But I hope you've enjoyed it guys, I am on to the next one, and um, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores, and we'll see you next week, cheers!